Hello guys and welcome to a little special video. Oh god, the dog started. Uh, it's not my dog, um, as you know. Uh, we have some very, very tiny locomotives uh, that engage. Um, and they look absolutely lovely. And they make me want to get an engage. Cause, but they're absolutely midget. Um, this one doesn't have a motor in it. So you can pre-roll it. Look at the coaches as well. What coach? What the, where are the coach? What what thing are the coaches? Comfy, uh, Lima. Lima. So Lima coaches, and then this is Graham Farish. Um, there's some dude who makes locos, as it turns out. God knows who Graham Farish is. Uh, you might. He sounds like the sort of dude you meet in a pub. Um, but anyway, and then this one was a, a Pico one. I think, isn't it? Yeah. There you go, Pico box. No, it's one big. Pico Jubilee, British N scale, ready to run locomotive. Have a look at the back of the box, as Sam Strange would say. And the side of the box, and the other side of the box is exactly the effing same. It does have, I think it has a leaflet in it. Oh, it has a leaflet in it. And, Graham Farish. Yes, it does. And at the back of the box, it's just loads of gum. It says, this is a detailed scale model for adult collectors. Dizes modelist for a version summer gamak cat model redu et Backman Industries Europe Limited Motway Barrel Leicestershire L E nine A eight E Y England www.batman.co.uk That's in case you wanted to know what it says on the back. Um and you can't read, because some people can't. Um Masterpieces in Miniature. Graham Farish. Oh, it is the leaflet, the operating and maintenance instructions for a midget jubilee. Pico are anxious that this locomotive should be given complete satisfaction and the following maintenance should be observed. Lubrication in big bold letters. After some hours of running, it is advisable to lubricate the moving parts as follows. Number one, the motor shafts and bushes do the transmission gears and war and worm. Worm? Don't find it in your garden. <laughs> The valve gear and locomotive wheel bearings. Oh, it has bearings. Hopefully it's not got square ones, but it probably <laughs> probably will be in Batman. Pico. Use Pico. Oh, it's not. Oh, flipping heck. That'll have square bearings then. Uh, oh, sugar. The Use Pico Electrics Electro Lube PL64X brush replacement. That's boring. There you go. There's a uh, picture. Take the funnel off. And the... something. Oh, take the funnel off. Unscrew it. From the funnel. Well, it's got a double funnel, shouldn't it have two screws? One for each hole. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? And there's the tender. Look at that, that motor on that photo is bigger than the tender. <laughs> oh, how does that fit in there? Hang on, but I can kind of show you a motor. It's out of, it's out of scale, unless it's. Just... Hang on. I think it should. There you go. Just <laughs> tiny! This is a baby! And then on the back, Pico Jubilee 460 Jubilee class steam locomotive design. And there's all the. So, there is all the history of the class. If you'd like to pause that and read that, you can do. But I will give you an in depth history later on. I won't. <laughs> Guarantee. There you go. So, you can see there's actually really, really well detailed. They're absolutely tiny. Obviously, there's a lot of mouldy detail because separately fitting um, all of the detail to one of these this size. Would take somebody with the eyesight to probably most foxes to be able to do that um, or something like that. Uh, but you can see it's painted really, really well actually because it'll be an older loco being Pico. Uh, but it looks fantastic. Uh, it looks like same same livery as my main line. Um, We've got Patriot, isn't it? Frank, yes. It's a Frank Ray. Yeah, yeah. So it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, but also the other reason why they don't separate fit a lot of things is because it is so small. And most people into railways are old. They probably couldn't see them. So they've decided to make it a little bit chunkier for the blinder people in uh, in the hobby. Um, there's no sprung buffers on this uh, because getting a sprung buffer that small would probably be quite difficult. Um, I don't know how they would manage that. I think some modern engage regulators have sprung buffers, but I don't, I don't know though. I could be wrong, but I think some of them do. The, the valve gear looks... Uh, we'll move the tender up. That tender's heavier than... The loco, like that is incredibly heavy, and then that's just woo. Can move I that. I'm putting it back on. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 There you go. It runs really, really nicely. Um, 
but I rolls nicely, and then obviously it does actually work this one. Um, but we haven't got anything lined up to it, but we're not going to show you because this is a visual review. Um, and then we have the gorgeous merchant navy, which jokes aside, this actually That's looks so nice. It is absolutely gorgeous, and look at how clear that is considering it's tiny. Is it a Holland American? Or something? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Even though Holland and America have got nothing to do with each other, merchant I navy think it's class. A shipping line, I think Holland America like, probably will be. I don't presume that's concerning. As if you don't, as if you need to make it any smaller. Um, is this a loco drive? Yeah. Yes. When it, it would did have a motor in it. But it, that but did actually like, burn, and I was very depressed when it did. Yeah, it's absolutely tiny. And then you've got insert got cab details. Oh no, just a hole. No, it's just a hole. Because the um, you can throw some cab details. I think it's, it's basically much. a hole. You can put your finger all the way right through it. You could have that as a wedding ring. And the the bogey wheels are absolutely tiny. Look at the size of them. Yeah, they're, they're, they're actually big for scale, those ones are. They're not for scale, they are. Fucking heck, absolutely midget. Some skateboards with bigger wheels than that. Absolutely tiny. And I mean, end gauge skateboards, not real ones. Um, And then, little little bogey at the back. They're absolutely. How do they make them this small? How do they make them actually work when they're this small? Um, It's incredible. 25022. It's printed on the side of the. Oh, for God's sake, zoom in, you cow! 25022 is absolutely tiny. Tiny, but it's printed incredibly precisely, especially the 8P. You can I actually see that? What I'm going to do is, because it struggles with o, double O gauge reviews, this, this phone, if you zoom it, look at that. How clear is that? Oh, my God. It's incredible. That's so so clear. Um, and yet so tiny. It's unbelievable. And then you get the front as well. 35022 Atlantic Coast Express. It looks superb. Superb. Amazing how they get the uh, detail on that. And there is no running number on this uh, Jubilee, so but it's called Canada. Uh, we've got America and Canada next to each other, just like on a globe. Um, and then you have the coaches, which I'm not going to go in depth in, just have a nice look at them. They are BR blue and grey. You've got some Pullmans as well, haven't you? Yes, I've got five of them, yeah. Got five Pullmans. Um, and then the tender, which is absolutely tiny, absolutely tiny. Um, for reference, here's a double O gauge West Country slash Merchant Navy tender. Ta-da! You can actually fit that in the coal bunk, probably, of that. In fact, I'm going to try that because it'll be funny, won't it? The couplings are a night. How, how, how do you undo? This is where it's different. Eh. You're just going to look at some wood for about 10 seconds. Ron, that's a bit inappropriate. I can't undo the cup. Oh, no. What's that? I've done it. I've done it. I've, I've, I've managed to undo the cup. There we go. And then... Oh, it does, uh, it's not quite small enough for the coal bunker. But anyway, so you can see uh, on the on the back, there's some Mazda Air Max 5s, because it's zooming into those. Uh, there's some steps, just like on the big big one. Um, and then it, it does look quite chunky, obviously, because it's you can't make them so small that it's impossible to fit them. Um, you can get a little bit more detail on the back. Though, which is like tiny. I know, it's half the size of a 5P. Some of them. Um... And then you've got the coal there, which looks actually quite realistic for its size. And then you've got a little bit of detail across the front. But it's not as in-depth as a double O-gauge locomotive. Um, but it does look pretty uh, pretty cool. Um, let me just put... Oh, sugar. Let me just put the tender back on. Bear with. And then couple the coaches back up. There you go. And you'll see. It looks absolutely fantastic. Oh, that's not worked. Anyway, um, there is the Jubilee, absolutely gorgeous as usual. Uh, so yeah, they are quite all of these. I actually quite like them, you know. Um, maybe I will get into Engage. Who knows? We'll see. Um, Do it. But the line, look how like the line is so like precise as well for its size. Um, it's got actually quite a bit of a shiny finish to it as well. Do have you glossed it? I the Merchant Navy, yeah. You can tell because it's dead, dead shiny. Looks really, really nice. That one looks as flat as a pancake. I've seen flatter paint job. Well, it looks really, really matte. The, the smoke box should be that, like that, and then that should be a little bit nicer. I might want to go mask off. And, yeah. Why did you no the the the, the, no, the jubilee the box and then do the yeah? Why do you do yeah, the yeah. jubilee? So gloss from the smoke box. It looked really cool. Um, yeah, it looked really nice. What are you laughing? I'll tell you later. Right. I'll tell you later. 
Anyway, uh, that will conclude the video. And uh, you never know, I might get into an engage, might get into O-Gage. So if you ever get any O-Gage, you want to bring that? And then try and convince Absolute me into that? It's oh, God. It's train, but it's not, it doesn't special, oh, but right. it is O-Gage. Um, yeah, we'll see in the future what uh, what we might be able to do. Um, that looks really good with the Malachite tender, to be fair, but it is a bit too big. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, it's now raining. And on that note, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you very soon for some more videos. Goodbye. Bye-bye.